Right then, let's do another reaction to another trailer. We've got Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, an official trailer from Lucasfilm. Um, yeah, two minutes long. Um, yeah, so I've seen all the Indiana Jones movie. You know what, I was thinking about it earlier on. I think I've seen every single one at the cinema. Maybe, I don't think I saw Temple of Doom at the cinema, but I'm pretty sure all the others I saw at the cinema. Which is um, weird, because I'm not like a, a massive Indiana Jones fan or anything like that. I mean, I watch them. I don't sort of, I don't sort of like watch them again and again. I'm not one of these people who's a super fan of, of movies. You know, I'll watch something like, oh, that was cool, and then I'll move on. You know, I don't sort of... But when I was a kid, I'd, I'd binge watch... Uh, there's a few things I used to binge watch as a kid. Hawk the Slayer, uh, the Lord of the Rings cartoon movie. Uh, those are two that I would call. Black Adder's, uh, um TV show. Um, but yeah, let's just watch this. Right, so Indiana Jones is getting on a bit, isn't he? Harrison Ford. I don't know how he's going to look realistic doing his... Uh, Stunts. How old is he now? He must be in his seventies. He's not in his eighties yet, is he? Surely he can't be in his eighties. I don't think he's that old, but I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, let's just watch the. Let's start the trailer anyway. See what happens. Um, I remember the last one, the Crystal Skull. He had a son, didn't he? That he brought in a son. Was it? Um, who was it? Uh, that guy, Shia LaBeouf. Was it Shia LaBeouf? I think it's someone like that. And um, yeah, I don't think they, that was a long time ago though. That was good. 10 years ago now, isn't it? The Crystal Skull must be. Um, maybe even longer. I'm not too sure. But he's going to look He's gonna look rather doddery, I'm thinking. <laughs> let's, let's start anyway and find out. Let's see. Oh, he doesn't look too bad, does he? He looks old, but not like... Not completely ancient. Maybe I should talk uh, without the sound guy behind me. Yeah, he doesn't. He looks. Yeah, he's old, but not. Yeah, he doesn't look too bad. He doesn't look like he's uh, about to fall over. And I think. <laughs> but yeah, I can't believe. Yeah, it's oh god. It's get, we're all getting on. We're all getting on. What can I say? But uh, yeah, it's he's retiring. Okay, let's carry on. So I would have thought he retired ages ago from active, um, active work. Anyway, I mean, he did the, the stuff in the museums and that. But the archaeology bit when he was doing all his adventuring. That was, um, that's definitely a young person's game, isn't it? Definitely a young person's game. Tiring. Well, in that case, what are we drinking? Same for the goddaughter. Oh. Dad told me you found something. On a train during a war. A dial that could change the course of history. Why are you chasing the thing that drove your father crazy? Don't move. Please get out of here. Okay, interesting. I've no idea what that character is or who her dad was meant to have been, whether he was actually in... in maybe it was... um. Who was the guy who uh, he... Was it Elliot Gould or something? No, it wasn't Elliot Gould. It was, it was, I think it was something... Denim Elliot? Was it Denim Elliot? He used to play like a um, like a curator at a museum uh, that he went to a couple of times, I think. I can't remember. I, I can't, it's a long time since I've seen any of the films, to be honest. I don't know if I've seen the Indiana Jones movie for good 30 years, maybe. I don't know. I'm not even sure how old it is. Probably older than that, because I'm pretty sure I was a kid when I went to see it. Yeah, probably, it's probably 40 years old now, isn't it? Fucking heck. But anyway, yeah, so it looks interesting. It's an intriguing kind of um, flashback to his history. And we've obviously got guns. There's going to be some There's got to be some action. Uh, we had a little bit of flashback as well. Yes, keep going, keep going. Stop! Sorry. Oh. Oh. That was an interesting little bit of flashback there. They looked that was good CGI, I'm guessing, because he looked he did look like himself, unless it was maybe an outtake from an older movie or something. A flashback to an older movie. I'm not too sure, but he definitely looked like young Indiana Jones there. But I'm not sure if it was footage that they already had or clever CGI that they've created. Uh that guy that bad guy there, that was is that a guy from um Oh, I've seen him in something. He's not the guy from the uh, Tarantino movies. I can't remember now. But he plays a, a rather good uh, Nazi bad guy, that's for sure. So I'm guessing, let's think, it was World War II, wasn't it, when the films were going on originally? Um, and this has got to be, I mean, well, how old was he in the end? Was he in his 40s then? Was he in his 30s then? Is this 40 years after the war? What year is this set in? How long after the war is this set? I mean... I'm assuming he was about in his 40s when he did the Indiana Jones movies. Should it be the 80s now? I don't know. I'm not sure if they really 
bothering much thinking about a realistic timeline. I don't think that's probably not one of the things they really care about. This does look like it's set quite a while ago. Looking at the, I don't know. There's a well, that 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 um that air conditioning unit there. When was that built? I don't know. Uh, let's just keep going. It kind of looks like it's still based in like I don't know, later like than the fifties even. But it can't be right for how old he is. But let's just keep going. Styles. Oh. What? That can't. That can't be safe. Hitler made mistakes, and with this, I will correct them all. You stole it. Then you stole it. And then I stole it. It's called capitalism. A legend. We've got tuck tuck races and everything. So, okay, so there's some, there's some underhandedness. You'll think that happens. I think that's happened in previous movies when people are still all vying to get the, the, the doohickey that, you know, the important thing. In this, in this case, it's a dial of destiny. Um, I wonder if that's like a. Um, there was a device that was found in the. I think it was found in the ocean off Greece. And it's got some weird, like a fiocla boggly bog sort of. De I don't remember what it's called. But it's got some weird name and they're like theorizing what the heck it was meant to have been uh, unless i remember it completely wrong i probably heard it on a mystical program once before and i've made it out now, there's, there's some dial that remembers has been discovered by archaeologists and i wonder if it's a throwback or like a, a nod towards that i can't remember what it's called though it's so sure it begins like with a th for me something rather <laughs> if anyone knows what the heck i'm talking about put it in the comments down below but uh yeah um, that horse race in the uh, in the underground was a bit dodgy. But I'm still I'm still trying to work out more about what period this is meant to be set in. This looks like it's like if it's uh, how many years after the I mean how old is he meant to be at this point? I mean is he playing you know what whatever age uh, Harrison Ford is now? Is his character Indiana Jones meant to be like a decade or? even two decades younger than what he actually is in real life now that's um that's a question i suppose uh but so far lots of interesting action uh looks like it's gonna be the usual chases fights and you know massive stunts um yeah and harrison ford from what i've seen so far he's, he's still cracking the whip pretty well he doesn't look like he, he doesn't look unbelievable let's put it that way he doesn't look, I, I thought he might look unbelievable like wheezing and huffing his way through uh <laughs> through action scenes but from what the little clips we've seen so far he, he looks like he can still uh he can still rock the whip and uh the gun and all that and wear the hat so so far so good <laughs> Getting quite a lot of film in this two minutes. I reckon I must have seen a snippet of every single scene so far. Sometimes they overdo the um the scenes they do the trailers don't they so when you actually go to watch the film you're like oh yeah i saw this bit i saw this bit but i don't think they're, doing, they're going too badly though because you're not like seeing punch lines sometimes they'll show you a punch line or the, the final outcome of a, a big stunt and it's like well that's annoying because when i get to see that in the film i'll already know what's going to happen at this point but so far i think they're sort of the clips that they're showing are, are put together in such a way that you you know you're not really getting any scenes spoiled for you i don't think so, so far it looks like good high action. I like the fact it's going backwards and forwards in time. There seems to be a lot of young indie in there as well. You know, more virile and vigorous and uh, younger uh, indie. Um, yeah, you got everything. You got bloody car chases, you got plane crashes, you got parachuting, you got fisticuffs, you got whip cracking action. So far, so good. You got traps. <laughs> he just sort of threw back to the old ball trap from the very first movie there, I think. Uh, ready to crush people who are, you know, going places they shouldn't go. Um, but yeah. Okay. June the 30th. Well, that looked alright, actually. That didn't look bad at all. 
Um, yeah, and everything, everything you expect from an Indiana Jones movie. Uh, a few wisecracks, double crosses, uh, two-fisted action, gunfights, whip-cracking, car chasing, plane flying. Oh, my bloody thing's gone to another video now. I don't know what that's done that for. But ignore this. I'm not going to watch this Michael J. Fox trailer. Or am I? Maybe I'll watch it another time. Still a Michael J. Fox movie or tra trailer. Mm. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do a reaction to that another time. If you want me to do a reaction to that, let me know. I think it's probably quite sad what happened to Michael J. Fox. Um, was it Parkinson's? But anyway, it's completely put me off Indiana Jones now. Uh, but yeah, that looked like a good, looked like a good, uh, yeah, potentially good action movie. A nice summer blockbuster. Uh, again, uh, it's not one I'll go to see. I shouldn't think. It's, uh, but yeah, I'll probably check it out when it comes to a streaming service. It looked like it, you know. It looked like it had all the things that made old Indiana Jones movies good, and I thought, you know, I don't, I don't think Harrison Ford looked out of place in it. He you know, looks a bit old, obviously. He's fucking old. What can you know? Age comes to all of us. Age is just a number, and it looks like he's still sort of pulling off, um, you know, all the scenes that he needs to pull off. Look, you know, convincingly enough from what I saw in the trailer, uh, to make me think it's not going to be one of those films. You like, oh, you know, sometimes you watch an actor try and do something. That he's well, you know, famous for for years, and you think, oh, he ain't got, he ain't got it anymore. Uh, let's just, um, who can I think of for that? It's uh, Stephen Seagal, for example. Stephen Seagal, when he was uh, good and in shape and make, make felt believable uh, before he turned into uh, like Mr. Blobby. But anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah. Let me know if you're going to watch that movie. What you think of the the trailer, and uh, make your reaction to my reaction down in the comments down below. Give me a sub if you're not already subbed up to me, and uh, yeah, cheers for watching. Cheerio.